Today, I want to test you a math problem. The name of this problem called the growth of rabbit populations. Let's look at the problem first. We assume that each pair of adult rabbits can produce a couple of newborn rabbits every month, and each pair of young rabbits can become a pair of adult rabbits in a month. And none of the rabbits died. If a person adopts a pair of newborn rabbits, how many couples will he have after one year? So for this problem, we know that in the first month this guy adopted a pair of newborn rabbits. In other words, in the first month, he has no adult rabbits, only a pair of young rabbits. So he has a total of one pair of rabbits. After a month, the pair of newborn rabbits grew into a pair of adult rabbits, while the pair of newborn rabbits went to zero, and the total pairs of rabbits remained one. In the third month, all the rabbits of the previous month have become adults. At the same time, the adults from the last month produce a new pair of rabbits. Now the total pair of rabbits is two. By the fourth month, all pairs of rabbits from the last month were adults. At the same time, a pair of adult rabbits from the last month gave birth to a pair of newborn rabbits. The total pairs of rabbits are three. By the fifth month, all three pairs from the last month were adults. Two pairs of adults from the last month gave birth to two pairs of newborn rabbits. Now the total pairs of rabbits become five. By the sixth month, all five pairs of rabbits in the previous month were adults. At the same time, three pairs of adult rabbits from the previous month gave birth to three pairs of newborn rabbits. Now the total pairs of rabbits are equal to eight. By the seventh month, all the rabbits from the previous month had grown into eight pairs of adults, and the adults from the last month had produced five pairs of newborn rabbits. So the total pairs of rabbits are thirteen. You must have noticed that the pairs of the rabbits in this month is equal to the sum of the pairs of the rabbits in the previous two months. For example, in month 7, the total pairs of rabbits are equal to the sum pairs of the adult rabbits and the newborn rabbits of this month. The pairs of adult rabbits in this month is equal to the total pairs of rabbits in last month. The pairs of rabbits born at the beginning of the month is equal to the total pairs of rabbits from the fifth month. So we're right. Now that the rules have been summarized, the calculations are simple. The pairs of the rabbits in month 6 are equal to 8, and the pairs of the rabbits in month 7 are equal to 13. So the total pairs of the rabbits at month 8 are equal to 8 plus 13, which is equal to 21. Similarly, the total pairs of rabbits in month 9 are equal to 13 plus 21, which is equal to 34. At month 10, the total pairs of rabbits are equal to 21 plus 34, which is equal to 55. At month 10, the total pairs of rabbits are equal to 34 plus 55, which is equal to 89. At month 12, the total pairs of rabbits are equal to 55 plus 89, which is equal to 144. So at the beginning of the 13th month, a year from now, the total number of rabbits this guy has is 89 plus 144, which is 233. In fact, such a sequence is called the Fibonacci sequence. 
Fibonacci numbers have many applications in natural science. Trees, for example, often need a period of rest for their new branches to grow before they sprout new branches. So a sapling grows a new branch at an interval of, say, a year. The second year new branches rest, the old branches still germination. After this, the old branch and rest had one year's branch germination at the same time. The new branch that was born in the year was rest the following year. Thus, the number of branches of a tree in each year forms the Fibonacci sequence. That's where this video ends. Guys, if you like video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.